Good morning, Columbus. Today is Tuesday after their epiphany. Let us pray today for the students, faculty, and staff of Mayor's High School in Chicago, Illinois, and for Mayor's Schools and Ministries in Haiti. Let us also pray for the students in our school who are experiencing personal difficulties. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, whose only begotten Son has appeared in our very flesh, grant we pray that we may be inwardly transformed through him whom we recognize outwardly like ourselves, whom lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. St. Marshal and Champagne, pray for us. Mary, our good mother, pray for us. And let us remember to pray for each other. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Today on CCNN Live, the National Championship brought a matchup for the ages and helped the local community. And Lenovo is releasing a coffee-sized tablet. CCNN Live starts now. Good morning, Columbus. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez, and you are waking up with CCNN Live. Good morning, Columbus. Today is Tuesday, January 8, 2013. I'm Andrew Brees. And I'm David Perez, and these are your announcements for the day. Be sure to go out and support your Columbus Explorers basketball team tonight against Sunset here at home. There's a mandatory drama club meeting after school Thursday in 825. All students interested in participating in the spring play should attend this very important meeting. There will be a debate meeting for all members today after school in D15. All members should plan on attending. All students are reminded to report to homeroom every morning this week. If you are interested in playing tennis this year, tryouts will be held on Monday, January 14th at 3 p.m. on the tennis courts. If you were not on the team last year, you must attend. Now here's Joseph Piscitelli with the weather. Thank you, Andrew, and good morning, Columbus. This is Joseph Piscitelli with the weather for today. Now you can see for today's current conditions, we do have an average of 74 degrees with an 85% relative humidity and just a little bit of wind, just a little bit of breeze throughout the day. Let's look at today's radar. Hello. As you can see, we do have some isolated showers on awesome. the coast, but for the most part, we shouldn't have to worry about them today. We should have a day like yesterday where we have a slight chance of rain, and the worst that could happen, a little bit of overcast throughout the afternoon. But for the most part, we should be good for today. Let's look at today's five-day forecast. Today we have a 20% chance of rain with a high of 82 and a low of 72. Tomorrow, a 10% chance of rain, high of 82, low of 72. On Thursday, a 10% chance of rain, high of 81, low of 72. And on Friday to finish off the school week, 10% chance of rain, high of 80, low of 70. Now stick around because after the break, here's Mario Press with your news report.
Good morning. Today in news, President Obama recently picked someone to take the place of David Petraeus, someone with scandals of his own. The president nominated John Brennan, White House counterterrorism advisor, last Monday. Brennan was nominated in 2008 but dropped out of contention because he was being accused of supporting harsh interrogation during the Bush presidency. Many in the CIA and Congress are looking forward to Brennan's return, while others are asking the same questions once again. One thing is for sure, though, while he didn't need it before, Brennan will need more than just the president's approval for this job. Meanwhile, the BCS championship bowl game leaves more than a sports impact on Miami. Fans from both Notre Dame and Alabama wanted to do more than occupy the city for one week for a football game. The two universities joined forces with Roots in the City, a nonprofit organization, to help beautify two and a half acres in an Overtown community in inner city Miami. More than 400 volunteers from the schools showed up to build botanical gardens and clearing space for a rose garden along with a parking lot. Alabama SGA Senator Ryan Flammerich said, quote, we hope that it can be a sign that there are a lot of traditions at both universities and not all of them are football, end quote. Also, Lenovo announced it will release a 27-inch, 15-pound PC the size of a coffee table that works just like a gigantic tablet. The Idea Center Horizon Table PC is considered the first interpersonal computer, big enough to fit four people around it and respond to ten fingers at a time. It would include attachments such as strikers and joysticks for a variety of games, such as air hockey and the multiplayer shooter rating company. The Table PC will have a starting price of $1,700. That's our news. I'm Mario Perez. Now to a quick word from our sponsors. This boat of men under the crashing waves to step out of my comfort zone into the realm of the unknown where Jesus is. Good morning. I'm State Farm Agent Carlos Luis, Christopher Columbus graduating class of 1985, and these are my sons Carlos and Franco. If you want to save money in your auto insurance, call me. Carlos Luis, State Farm Agent at 305-663-2300 and get the Columbus discount. Thank you. Sorry, we're back. Lindsay Hahn isn't the only emotional teen with problems. Taylor Swift some has some of her own. Now here's Joseph Cassiova with more. Thank you, Andrew. With Taylor Swift and One Direction singer Harry Styles parting ways after just two months, the question we should be asking is, how long until we can expect a new Taylor Swift breakup song? The breakup unfolded right after the new year began, when the 23-year-old Swift jetted off with the 18-year-old Styles for a romantic getaway to the British Virgin Islands. However, an unexpected fight between the two led Swift to pack up her bags and head back to the U.S. on January 4th. Meanwhile, in order to blow off some steam, the One Direction star stayed behind with his friend, Richard Branson, who owns the nearby private Necker Island. No word has come yet from Swift or Styles if they are never, ever, ever, ever getting back together or just taking a break. Meanwhile, Lindsay Lohan was able to avoid jail time yet again. Lohan was scheduled to make her first court appearance yesterday for a third degree misdemeanor assault after she punched a woman in a nightclub last November. The prosecutor said that the investigation was still ongoing and that they had delayed the proceedings. Lohan is extremely lucky for this, as she did not even show up to the courthouse yesterday 
due to the fact that she had been in London for the past week. Lohan's attorney, Mark Heller, who did show up for the trial, says that Lohan is, quote, a victim of someone trying to capture their 15 minutes of fame, end quote. That's all entertainment. I'm Joseph Cassiopo. Back to you. Bam, approved by their the favorite in last night's BCS championship game in their beatdown on Notre Dame. For more on that, we go to Tito Banach after the break. Seniors, making the close-up trip. We will have a meeting Thursday, this Thursday, after school in A12. Get there as soon as you can. It won't be a long meeting, but I need to see everybody in one group together. Thursday, hello, hello. A12 after school. Thank you. Here's the sports for today. In some college football news, the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish squared off last night for the coveted crystal ball in the BCS National Championship game. The Tide came out rolling behind strong first halves from running back Eddie Lacy and quarterback A.J. McCarron, scoring 28 points against an Irish defense that only allowed an average of 10 points per game. Defensively, Alabama was nothing short of dominant, shutting out the Irish going into halftime. The Tide never looked back, and repeating as national championship, and winning their third title in four years. Nick Saban becomes just the third coach to do it in ninth, since 1934. In some NBA news, Dwight Howard and Paul Gasol of the LA Lakers have been ruled to be injured indefinitely. Howard suffered a torn labrum in his right shoulder after Sunday's loss to Denver Nuggets. According to the Lakers, Howard will be re-examined next week. The injury will sideline Howard for at least one to two weeks. Gasol was also afflicted with an injury on Sunday after taking a hit to the face in the fourth quarter which then caused the big man to suffer a concussion. Gasol's timetable for return is unknown. In some NFL news, sources are reporting that Washington Redskins quarterback Robert Griffin III had a partial tear in his LCL. After falling short against the Seahawks on Sunday, Griffin hurt his knee during the fourth quarter of the game and was examined yesterday for any injuries. The Washington Post reported earlier that the injury was two tears in the ACL and LCL. RG3, as he is known, is going to see another doctor to confirm if those exact injuries are true. That's it up for me in the sports booth. I'm Tito Minaj. Ah, gentlemen, good morning. Woo. Oh, I'm so tired after that long run chasing the ice cream truck. Woo, yeah, yummy, yummy. Gentlemen, anyway, we have January 12th, the Colin Martinez Memorial 5K Run and Fun Walk. It's going to be at Tropical Park, 730 in the morning. Make sure you sign up beforehand so you can get yourself a T-shirt 
The cost is $25 for adults, $20 for students 18 and under. That means you guys here at Columbus, if you wait till race day, you, there's no guarantee you'll get a shirt, and it will also cost $30. So we hope to see you guys there. You can sign up online on the Columbus website, and there will also be some people in the cafeteria where you can sign up for the race as well. Hope to see you guys all out there, and uh, make sure you'll be chasing me down, all right, because I'm running pretty fast that day. You better watch out. Do you want to learn how to dance? If so, come to the hotspot located at 15420 Southwest 136th Street. Here you will learn how to dance and will be provided with fun ways to stay in shape. You can bring your friends or family and take classes at flexible hours Monday through Saturday. So remember, if you want to get in shape, stay in shape, or just learn how to dance, come to the award-winning dance and production studio, The Hotspot. Any faculty, faculty member, member who wishes to have a message aired on CCNN, please email your announcement to Columbus News on your Outlook address book. If you want school sports updates, you can follow us on Facebook at CCNN or on Twitter at CCNN Live. To receive Twitter updates on your phone, text follow space at sign CCNN Live to 40404. And from all of us here at CCNN, have a great day, Columbus.